crazy co-host, Chrissy Bowe. What's up? Yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Thank Happy God it's hour. Friday. That's all I got to say. Happy hour in the house. In the babe cave. Streaming live from the babe cave. That's right. You know it. Every Friday that's, at 8 p.m. That's right. Every Friday. We're super excited. It's the end of the week. You know how people get Thank week God. Oh, it's weekenditis. That's not it. That's, that's not the end of What is all it? Right. I don't know. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Weekenditis? Back to that. Yes. What is it? It sounds like Hajimoto. Exactly. <laughs> it's when you're so excited that the weekend's here that it just flies by and you're like, oh, uh, God, it's Sunday night. But don't please worry, don't it's say not. that. I it's know. only I'm Friday. Joking. But based on our event calendar, I feel like we're going to be waking <laughs> up on, Sunday, on Monday morning saying, Where's the weekend? Yes, go? you're right. It's always jam packed, our it, weekends. It really is. And now that summer's coming, and I don't know, it hasn't been here yet, but right. summer's on its way, right? But we already did a ton of events. We got a ton lined up. So uh, we'll be very busy. We'll be very busy. We're very excited. So listen, that means you also have to get out of your house. Yep. Unless it's Friday night at 8 o'clock and you're watching us. <laughs> no worries. Don't go anywhere. Right. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Watch us. On Facebook. But we're just saying after Friday night, 8 p.m., we're yes. over at about 9.15, then you can go out. All right, then you go out. That's when most people go out, right? Exactly. Go out, make sure you have fun. <laughs> Jeff's because life. life is about having fun and bouncing around like what we do. That's right, and we do do that very we do, good. We do very good, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But we're super excited because on Wednesday nights, you can catch us at 5.30 p.m. on Cablevision. That's right. If you're yeah. Channel 20. Yeah. If you're local. Awesome. Uh, well, correction, awesome. it is not Cablevision anymore. It is Altice One, right. Connie. I have to change the logo. Yeah, I do like the Cablevision name better than Altice One. It's hard to say Altice One. Right, and no one knows Altice One yet. No, no, no they don't. Optimal. All right, so we'll just call it. Vision. It's Altice One, guys. Sounds like the 80s. <laughs> and they are stuck in the 80s. <laughs> your bill still goes to Optima. Thank Frank Mullen, let us know. Exactly. All right, thanks for letting me know that. <laughs> But yes, not only at 5.30, but at 12 a.m. we're on as well, right? Right, so in the event you're up on late Tuesday night because you There's can't sleep. There's plenty of people up, Connie. Exactly. 12 midnight, you can catch us on Wednesday morning. Yeah, all the insomniacs. Tune us in. That's right. So don't watch the infomercials where you spend lots of money on no. nonsense. Nonsense. Who needs Cindy Crawford's face cream? Uh, on, people? Who needs another vacuum? That's or, right. Wow. Or a sham wow. wow. Is that still around? I, I feel like it is. Does that even Sorry, work? I think he's he went happened. to jail. I thought he, or, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I thought he had a heart attack. Oh, it doesn't know. work. I just want to know. Does ShamWow work? I'm not sure, but I know for the price of one, you get two. All right. So that's a good. All right. You know what? That is a good bargain. <laughs> Forget that stuff. Don't waste money. Forget that stuff. <laughs> don't waste money that you don't. stuff you don't need. Exactly. Just watch us. Day night. That's right. While you're binge eating. That's right. Uh huh. Hopefully not on Munchies. Wendy's. I know. On Wendy's, it will be Wendy's. Wendy's is the best. I know. I do love Wendy's. Although the other night at McDonald's. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. I thought you don't like them. It's not. But when it's the only thing around, and you go to an event, and you're still hungry because you didn't eat all, all night. All right. Did you do the no bun though? I don't do that at McDonald's. No, you can't. See, it's too flat, wanna, the burger. I don't want to see what it looks like at McDonald's. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Wendy's, I do. All right, Connie there, there does the no bun. Menu. There is There's a, a secret, secret menu? menu? Yeah, if you go to, uh, if you go to McDonald's, you yeah. pull the drive through yeah. right? I uh -huh. love a Big Mac. I'm okay. <laughs> tell them to take out the middle bun. Oh, then it's like not a Big Mac. What does Mac. that do? It takes out an no, extra bun. Oh, you take out that extra bun of carbs. Oh. I like it, Frank. Frank Mullen is advising us. When I we order a Big Mac to just minus to... one bun, yeah, like as if the other buns aren't enough carbs. No, but you're right. Why do I want four buns or three no. buns? All right, so I'll I minus one. I two buns. All I right. got enough buns, and it's no. going to end up on my bun. How many calories <laughs> am I saving? How many right. calories am I saving? Somebody... That's it? And probably oh. 50 carbs. Oh, all right, well, I'm doing it. the Big Mac, people. What about the French fries, guys? Dr. Oz always says that's suicide. I love French fries. You don't? You oh have to God. get the french fries, and then you order the melted cheese on the side. Oh, my God. I never did that. A friend of mine did this. I was like, wait, you can get melted cheese in a container for 50 cents? And they were like, yeah. I was oh, like, oh, my, my God. God. Of so course, fries, 50 cents. French fries get the melted cheese. You can do that at Wendy's. I don't know about McDonald's, though. No way. When and I you... ate fries back in the day, I, yes. I even eat french fries for 10 years. When what? I did, 10 years, I stopped. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, of course. Frank Mullen from suffocation, suffocation hasn't eaten a french fry in 20 years. <laughs> What I did eat though, here's the recipe, here is the recipe. <laughs> Does French it include fries? melted cheese? No. Bacon. The barbecue sauce. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is the number All right. The bomb. The See, so I, I wish I knew that. I wish I knew okay. that right after the pink tie event, which Me was too. amazing. 
There was so much food available, but because we're running around, we, we never get to eat. eat. It's always like our wedding at every event. Exactly. I feel like I've, mar I've married you so many times. I know. Right. I know. I'm, I'm sick like, of marrying you. Right. I'm like, I'm starving. I know, but I'm. Never. Don't dare put that Mary. out there. We would never we get divorced. We appreciate each other, so we would never leave each other. That's right. That's right. So anyway, we have some Don't amazing pictures leave me. from Pink Tie. I'll have to kill you. <laughs> We saw some amazing people there. Yes. There's a flyer. It Our good friend Constantine Maroulis was the performer. Right, but I do love this picture. I love that picture. Nice. And thank you to Jeff because he yes. actually positioned us for this picture. That's right, we he did. we are clueless during the red carpet. We're like so busy. <laughs> pink carpet. Right, pink carpet. We're so busy. We, we kind of just want to like meet all the celebrities and have yes. fun. And Jeff is really good with like reining us in and yep. saying, nice. take some pictures. Focus. Sure. He helps us focus. Focus. And there's our crew. Oh. You love that? Wait, what's that? How'd you do that? It's a sparkle. You know, oh. you can add that on, um, I think it was Facebook. Oh, you can I add didn't... that on Facebook. Oh, I love it. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we needed some sparkle. We saw our nice friend, Marcos. Oh, he's going to be a guest on our show. He's a journalist. Power journalist. Yeah, power journalist. Uh, That's right. Right. a lot. Right. He like... He interviewed, um, who do you say? Steven Tyler was oh, his yeah. favorite uh, guest that he interviewed. But he just interviewed someone else cool last night I saw on Facebook. I forget who Oh, uh, I didn't see. I remember thinking it was cool, but I forgot who it was. Anyway, right. Right anyway, soon. Whatever. Whatever. Let us know. Whatever. And then obviously our good friend Cecil Fielder. Yes. Yeah. Cecil. Cowboy fan. Yeah, that's right. He was a guest on date night and he's always there every year supporting the cause. Great guy. Great guy, great attitude. We love him. Yep. And there is our very huh. amazing That's Tom right. Morales. That's right. He's on tour right now with Steven Adler, Guns N' Roses. Right. Check them out. We that's gotta get right. tickets. Now look at his lips. I love it. That's like the funniest picture. Yeah, funniest picture ever. I, I know. love it. There's us interviewing Look at him. me. I'm always shoving the mic in everyone's face. And you see his face? He's like, eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so tell me. <laughs> and you're always like. <laughs> yeah. And then we love this specific picture. Yes, but it's right. too bad that the date like, night. Before you go. The date night logo on that side had fallen off. Wait. Uh, oh. I only spent a million dollars on those mic flags and it broke. <laughs> that's. Yeah. Well, oh, that's Marcos. Oh, yeah. Marcos photo bombed it. But it's a great picture. It is. Great yeah. lighting. And it's true because the handheld mic, this is what we concentrate on the pink carpet. It's about That's right. how you hold the mic so you don't see that white It was part. nice lighting, though. Jim Laritz, New York Yankees. We see him at every event. Awesome. He's always supporting all the charity events on Long Island. Great guy. He has a great book. Chrissy keeps asking yes. about the book as if it's new. And he's like, <laughs> he's it's like, it was 20 a couple of years. <laughs> I'm like, Jim, tell me about your book. Uh, and it's I'm been, on to the next one. It's been out a couple of years. <laughs> all right, sorry about That's that. Okay, I was fine. trying to help him. <laughs> There's me and the love of my life. Oh. Oh, Chrissy's honey, I love like it. That guy, uh, <laughs> Who? <laughs> no, don't no, say that. No I don't way. like that. Yeah, no, exactly. no, well, I, the, I don't think Pitbull's Pitbull good looking. Sexy. No, I, I think he's ugly. I think he, I, I think Pitbull is sexy. I don't think he's good looking at all. He's very confident. He's he doesn't look like I don't like him. He actually looks like the Gangnam Style guy. Oh my God, that guy's the worst. But anyway, that's the love of my life. <laughs> that's the only picture we took. We didn't even get a group shot of me, you, Jeff, you and Andrew. Her, you left her. Well, we should have took it there when we were doing the interviews. Not even James yeah. got in a picture. No, because you were focused on other things. Ah, oh, right. John Starks. My favorite New York Nick, John Starks. He's so amazing. We see him all the time. We love him. Yes, he does a lot of charity. Oh, events. Jerry Cooney. We loved him. He was so much fun. He's going to be a guest coming up soon. And I think we scared him a little bit. Because nah, he was fun. You no, know, but he came over. We had so much energy. And he was like, wow, you guys are the greatest. Yeah, we matched his energy. That's that's Actually, right. he looks like he wants to knock one of you out. <laughs> he does. He's got, he's he was, got the fist. He's not sure who to hit. He was like, do the fist. We're like, ah. That's right. right. And I loved it. I'm like, your breath smells great. Is it that, did? He's like, it's strawberry gum. I'm like, can we have oh. a piece? You don't remember we were eating strawberry gum? I did gum. find, you know what, the next day I found a piece of strawberry gum. I didn't we know who it was from. We were chewing it. I don't know, Connie. Pieces oh. Later. <laughs> oh, God. I was wondering who that was from. That was great. And then Bobby Collins, oh, a really God. funny comedian. Who was Hilarious. In the house too. He's a legend comedian. He's from California. Yeah, think, he's right? opened up for what? Frank Sinatra, oh, yeah. Cher, yeah, mm -hmm. who, Dolly Parton, a lot, everyone. I don't know. He was hilarious, though. And then our um, very good friend, Asia Lee and David Cous uh, Goosen. Now, you told me right. this Sorry, guy invented the everything bagel? He did. I didn't believe you. I thought he you did. were just joking around no, with it. I wouldn't joke about that. It wait really minute, is. Wait a minute. Yep. Everything bagel. Yes. Everything bagel, he invented it. I'm so, not sure. I don't know the specifics, Kayball. 
I just know David we have to have is him on like the, the number one networker on Long Island. Is he? Okay. He's super funny. He's so great. I love seeing him because we see him all the time at different Aww. events. And he's so supportive of us in the show. He should have brought and us everything bagels. I know. No, that's I, all I, we needed that night. I'm pretty sure the everything bagel came out. <laughs> That, like, you know what, like, Frank? Like you're probably right. Yeah, but he said he invented right. it. They were like, let's put everything on. <laughs> well, he invented and, something like yes, that. Yes, he invented right. something. And then, of course, oh, that came out great. VIP area, which we love, Constantine. Yes. And then Rich Alino, who we love. The lighting. Yeah, who took yeah, that yeah, picture? A yeah. photographer. I don't know. Because it looks like it, yeah. Yeah, Rich Alino, who we love as well. He does a lot of, he hosts a lot of Hendrix events. Yeah. He mm -hmm. promotes a lot of different things, so. We love Rich, and of course, oh. it's us watching Constantine. And our buddy from Me Machine, John Piz, playing the keyboards in the background. That's right. He's the only one that came out in the picture. I know. Even where our blur. I oh, know. Oh, you're right. The right? lighting wasn't good. It's that's all right. what happens when you take selfies in the dark. It doesn't always come out good. It's all right, but look, that was a, that's a good selfie. Yeah. Oh. We were still... Uh, His voice was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, and he played a lot of great songs that we love. We love all those songs. Do you remember which ones? No. No. Kind of, I can't remember anything. Wait, was that SOS or... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, oh, my God. Well, I love the police. I know. You were singing it. I was jumping up and down to that one. Oh, message in a bottle. I love that song. We were dancing together, having fun, and then all of a sudden... We were the only ones in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on. And then, oh, my God. Jo uh, John... Joseph, Joseph Dowling. Dowling. I love his picture. Yeah, he takes this great like pictures. the best picture ever. Can you imagine? Why didn't he do one of me and my honeys? I honeys? know. Yeah. I know, because you had left. <laughs> Not at that Andrew, point. That was left, still early in the right? night. No. That's what we were looking for, somebody. Oh, oh my God. You like my dad. You like to make us feel guilty. No, never. I would oh, never Jesus. do that. I love you too much. Oh, I'm just laughing You just about did it, it ten times. <laughs> You're like my sister. She does sorry, the same Sorry, baby. Thing. Sorry. Oh, I'm just geez. saying why some of you weren't in some of the pictures. There's Edgar, who we love. Yes, we love Edgar. He looked different. He was wearing uh, shades, shades that had tint on them. That's right. And then, of course, the whole night, which is what we're so Hulk excited Hulk about. Oh, yeah. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Jimmy Hart with the megaphone. Oh, yeah. I wanted to grab the megaphone and do something. Hulk Hogan. I don't think he it would have let me. No. Listen, the best thing he ever did was NWO. <laughs> NWO. Oh, hell no. All right. NWO, well, New so, World Order. Oh, oh, yeah. And you don't know what I went through. To find that picture of us. Oh. You have no idea what I went through. But I'm sure enough, I always come through because I'm the researcher. That's right. In our relationship, Chrissy is the That's investigator, right. the researcher. If something needs the, to get uh, done, I make it happen. She does. She yeah. will call you 50 times. That's right. If you don't respond. So let me just give you a little heads up. <laughs> just call her back or like follow up because she will be on top of you. Like, I'll, I'll, show right. <laughs> I'll show up at your door. Exactly. I'll show up at your door. Exactly. So we're so excited we did get that pitch. Hulk was very nice. I very say, nice. I thought he would have a lot more energy. Yes, like Jerry Cooney. Like Jerry Cooney. Yes. I thought he was going to give us some Hulk like I know. type stuff. That's what I wanted. He was a little more on the reserve side, which is totally cool. We I know. Still love I him, thought Jimmy was going to do the megaphone, do something. So yeah. Who knew? Who I knew? Think, I, I think if you fold him back into like an old thing where you were like, we should I pulled my shirt off? No. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> No, no, we no. should have did that. That's the Hulk. Hulk right. Hold on, hold on. Kyle but loves no, Hulk Hogan did that too. In the ring. Come on, yes. Halloween. So, Halloween. So, 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 Connie. Yeah. No, no, I said Connie. Yes. Loves, loves. I said Halloween. Yes. Frank Muller reminds me of the Muppet, the old guys in the in the no, no, theater no. chair no, and the Muppets. If pulled, <laughs> listen, if you pulled him in, you were like, it's the Macho Man. Yeah. 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 Brother. Oh, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Brother. Yeah. Yeah. brother. He, he, Why did he we do that? Right. right into the persona. We and didn't even know us. where right. we were. No. When we were <laughs> I could have been at we Wendy's. Said, all right, grab your camera. We're like, oh, we don't have our cell phone on us. Oh, all right. Someone take a picture. I thought I was I thought I was in uh, Eagle Chase in the babe cave. I had no idea. Or, or all, you, all you had to do was sing this song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that song. No. You know, that, that, that America song. Yeah, oh. You know, you know, we should have sang oh, Rudolph. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But because we're He's coming from Pink Tie. All right, I know, I know. A lot of drinks take place. Oh, Jesus. So now we're super excited. The next event we're going to host, which you must be at. It's yes. It's super fun. It's going to be at the Oheka Castle. I love the Oheka Castle. In Cold Spring Harbor. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Right? That's where you have a wedding. That Jonas Brothers had a wedding That's there. That's right. And so did uh, the guy from NSYNC. No. Joey Batone. No, yeah. really? Yes, he He's did. Married? I didn't yes, know he was married. Joey. Wow. No, they're not. Justin's Don't not. Don't say that. 
So make sure that. you get your tickets. Go to um, oh Pop Earth. Pop Earth. Yes, our friend Deb Stone is the owner of Pop Earth, supporting all kids with autism. It's a beautiful charity, and all celebrity chefs are going to be at this event, and we'll be there interviewing them. And I hope we eat. Yeah, we are going to eat. It's all <laughs> chefs. Like DJ it. Chef will be there, yeah, our friend. Chef. It does say barbecue. That's it's right. Bad. But we never eat. Chef that's Q. That's problem. I know. Well, we I will know. at this one. Right. Let me make sure of it. Right. And then, so that's Sunday. And then Monday, uh, we're going to be recovering. I'm never sleeping again. We're going to be at the Hospitality Ball. That's right. We're going to be on the pink carpet. So you need to hang out with us. It's uh, Monday, the June 25th. Yep. Crest and, Hollow, which we love. And it supports the Carol Baldwin uh, Foundation. That's right, for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Alec Baldwin will be there. Yeah, Billy yeah. Baldwin will be there. Billy Baldwin. A right. lot of celebrities. Our friends from Z100, Scary Jones, will be there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Elvis, Durant. Elvis Durant, too? No? The, just the morning show, oh, okay. including Scary Jones, will be it. the main person on the carpet with us. Yeah. He'll be with us on the carpet. We love Scary. So get your tickets now before they sell out. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be lots of food, lots of cocktails, and just right. lots of fun. And it's going to be at Crest Hollow country club which is right down the road from the bath cave oh yeah that's right we can come back here and do that's a right. uh, after party mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. if we make it if we make it i might end up at wendy's and <laughs> never ordering my no bun burger that sounds great no bun don't forget don't forget because you want to be notified of all the events that we go to we want to invite you make sure that you're coming and having fun and you want to be notified of all our live shows, so make sure you follow us on Instagram at Date Night TV mm -hmm. and on Facebook, Date Night with Connie and Chrissy. Like our page, and you'll be able to watch us every Friday night or whatever we do. And watch show. us on LT Swan right. <laughs> on Wednesdays at five thirty. Local Long Island. All right. And we're ready for that. Start loving life. Yeah, today, everyone. Oh. All right. Oh, this is a good one. Stop wasting time on things that doesn't make you happy. Mm. Yeah, stop wasting time on things that don't make you happy. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Is your life worth it? So think about it. How many times do we go to places, and this includes friends, right? And yeah, we're of really course. Close, or, so dating. We have, or Or what? <laughs> Baking? Dating? dating? Like, like, dating is like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right. I, I'm not a fan of dating. I'm right. Single, like, Luckily now... What would you do? You wouldn't bunnies. date? <laughs> Wait, what are no. you saying? You wouldn't be dating? No, she no. wouldn't. What would you do? I got to get six she would years. leave it to the universe. <laughs> oh, I got you. Person. Okay. So, like online dating, <laughs> right? Tired. If there's something that doesn't make you feel good, so if it's online dating, uh, don't do it. Even if you're single, leave it up to the universe or yeah. God or whatever you Agreed. believe in. Yeah. But also, if there are people around you that maybe you don't have fun hanging mm -hmm. out with, just decline. Mm. Don't feel like you. Like you declined this... me the other night. <laughs> I know. I was declined you. Come on. Joke. But right. it's true though. Don't. Feel like you have to do certain things that don't feel comfortable with you. It's your Agreed. life. You only get one. That's I mean, you right. Get many, but you know, I'll just say you get one. Mm -hmm. So you want to maximize it, and you want to do what you love, and Agreed. you want to spend time doing what you love. So if you exactly. get invited to somewhere you don't want to go, no worries, just say no. Okay. But look out for yourself first, and do stuff that is fun for you. Agreed. So for more information about how you can start loving life in 30 days, 30 days, people. Wow, that's Hello. it. Holy go crap. Go to startlovinglife.com. Now time for my bestie. I want to hear about this. My one. bestie of the week. This is for Connie and I. After a night of drinking, this is for us. I was strolling through Ulta. <laughs> I was strolling through Ulta as usual. So after a night of drinking, your skin gets dehydrated. You look like crap the next morning. I found this mask. What happened last night? Isn't that hysterical? And it even has our little martini glass logo on it. And it's only nine dollars. You get two sheets in this, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a. It's a revitalizing mask. Go ahead, Frank. What do you want to ask me? I, I can only imagine. <laughs> so I woke up next to some guy. Oh, Jesus. Know. So you're going to put <laughs> this on? Um, I Hold didn't on. have makeup on. And <laughs> third of all. And what? What the hell happened? <laughs> no, you know, it would, Frank, be, it would be great. This is for our skin because it gets dehydrated after a night of drinking. Right. No. So like, it, what? imagine it had makeup on it that you can just go like this and then well, makeup goes back on. That would be in amazing. In the morning well, after. Why are you giving away? Oh, that's a great invention. Like, oh my well, God, shut honey, up, hold Connie. on. We'll talk about that after the show. All right, over yeah. another tea. Right, but ahead. anyway, this is packed with a full bottle of skin loving serum and it revitalizes your skin and makes it illuminating and soft, right? Yeah. Wasn't my skin soft? I used it today your before skin the show. Very soft. And it's only nine dollars at Ulta. That's a bargain. I bought you a pack, and I got me a pack. I gotta get Natalie a pack. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know Natalie. Oh, give Natalie one. And Colleen, now I gotta get, go back and get two more packs. That's right. Hold on, hold on. So what happened gonna... if you got hammered at the Colts rating? At the, the Colts? Colts? What's the Colts? Wait a minute. Colts. Colts. 
I think it's the Ritz Carlton. I can't wait for Frank Moan from Suffocation to be on our show. We're gonna need we're gonna need three hours worth of the whole Cleveland Cavaliers. How is he doing this? What are, I love it. <laughs> Listen, guys, we have this most amazing. That's doctor. right. She's gonna give us relationship advice. That's gonna, right. Colleen's brother, by the way, is the Frank's one who. Sister. Yeah. Oh. Colleen. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Frank's Colleen's sister. Colleen's giving us some hype in the audience. Yeah. yeah we're gonna have Colleen come on. Doctor right? Colleen Dr. Mullen. Colleen and give us some relationship The relationship advice. activist. All right. Coaching through chaos is her business, and she's gonna give us advice on how to stay happy in a relationship. I can't wait to find out. And, and we're back! back. Yeah. Dr. Colleen Mullen in the house, all the way from California. Thank you for being here. That's right. Come all the way just for date night with Colleen Christie. That's right. Because so I am crazy. crazy. That's right. The Relationship Activist. I like that name. Though. I Thank like that you. Title. Love it. And uh, you run Coaching Through Chaos. That's right. I love it. That's my private practice in San Diego okay. and my podcast on iTunes, where I interview all sorts of experts I in love it. psychology and life management and people that have great stories of overcoming hardships well, in we life. Well, we love that. And we're going to dive right in because everybody loves advice and they're waiting on the edge of their seats, right? That's right. And I know you wanted to discuss three things couples should do every day, which I find this very interesting because most people are focused on just being single and looking for somebody, but I think yeah. you need to focus on when you're in a relationship, how do you cultivate it and make sure it lasts. That's right. So the tips I'm going to give are for people that are in an established relationship, probably living together kind of thing, whether you're married or just living together. Yeah. And um, so I've got three really good strong tips. I yeah. love it. And okay. we're ready to hear Single people, it. write this yeah. down for when you are yeah. in a relationship. Exactly. Oh, of course, of course. And I'm a single person here, and I get to right. like help people have great established relationships every day. So and we all need it. That's, yes. right. that's right. So the first tip I'm going to give you is, um, you know, if you, uh, when you wake up in the morning before you start your day, you tell your partner or you ask your partner and say, is there something I can support you with today? Mm -hmm. Aww. I, love I usually that, just tell actually. my honey he's handsome. I'm like, oh, I do you look too. very handsome today. Well, that's the appreciation one. Oh, We're going to get there, go. too. Aww. So can I support you with something? Like, is there something going on? You know, which tells your partner, says, is there something that is going to be extra stressful for you yeah. today? Can I, like I that, do actually. you need me to call you later? Aww. You know, do you need me to pick up something later? Aww. You know, and, I love that. you know, when, when it's two, you know, uh, two people without kids, it can be things about the stressful stuff that goes on in your independent sure. lives, you know, and then when you've got a house management that happens when you have kids and everything, you know, you're talking about like, hey, well, yeah, I could really use some help at about five o'clock today, or could you pick mm -hmm. up the stuff on the way home from dinner because I'm taking oh. the kids to the soccer right. and all that stuff that comes. And a lot of people don't do that, so I no. think that's yeah. brilliant because most right. people are just like, all right, now I got to get up again, do the same and, thing, go to work, blah, blah, and right. you forget to... Right, and what happens is people start to think that because their partner hasn't offered help, they don't want to help, and they mm. stop. they stop even thinking that their partner wants to help them. Right. So they go, oh, well, right. don't they know that I'm stressed out? Yeah. Don't they know I have 10 things to do after the kids get off of mm -hmm. school? Or don't they know how much work I'm doing in my business and stuff that they're never offering to help? So I this way, this. I, you're starting I, the day off with, is there something today that I can offer support I with? I love it. And right. I know we always say, too, because sometimes we expect our partner to be psychic. Yes. And, like, yes. read our minds. Everybody does, Like, yeah. I'm stressed out today. What Why do you know? get? Yes. I didn't say anything, but I just right. thought it. Right? Why do you need so, flowers you right. should have known oh, God right. Damn you. exactly right so a lot of a lot of the work <laughs> I do is teaching people that like you can't expect your partner to, to read it. your mind I love that that's very you know important. you know yeah. we we can't expect people no matter how long you've been together yeah. mm -hmm. you know I've worked with couples that have been together a few months and then mm -hmm. like 30 years and they still are like well the, he should know me by now or no. she should know me by now Speak and up, people you have to say what you need mm -hmm. in order to get your needs met yeah. and you're always teaching your partner about what you need yeah. so I love it. so yeah. that leads us to Number then two. the next tip yeah okay the next tip is one of my favorite ones and it's one of the things that I give to my clients when we're early in the stages of couples counseling and it's about learning to give your partner an appreciation statement every day. Oh, I love that. You yeah, like that we one? Love, yeah. We love that. So, yeah. And, and what that looks like, I mean, like, right, because people are used to kind of like when you get into a relationship, people can get kind of cutesy with each other and go, oh, I love you, baby, I love you too, you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. But this is about kind of recognizing a characteristic in your partner. Mm -hmm. Like, I love how you're so attentive. And then mm -hmm. you tell them how you... 
um, know that and you say mm -hmm. well I see that every day when you like notice that my hair is different or you notice the clothes that I'm wearing oh, okay. or you say I love how you're so reliable and mm -hmm. I see that in you because you always tell me you're gonna be on time and you are you know mm -hmm. and that kind of thing I love that you're so um, dependable loyal um, and it doesn't matter what time of day you're doing this. No, no, but, okay. but the couple should take, take a couple minutes and really this takes all of like less yeah, than two minutes course. to do. Like but seconds. what happens is like, this is an early exercise I give to couples and I will always check with them like the week after. Cause when couples have been in conflict for a while and they've had like stressed oh. times in life and everything, they come in and I give them this after we do the assessment and stuff. It's usually one of the first exercises I give a couple after I've assessed them and stuff. Okay. And I'll check with them the week after and they're so not used to saying those kind of statements because mm. you have to be pretty vulnerable. If yeah. you've been together a long time, you might have gotten out of the language of saying those nice things or really kind of True. going a little bit deeper than the surface of like, oh, I love you, baby, or you look right. cute today and stuff like that. And you go a little bit deeper and see the characteristics in them and notice that. And people, get, you know, that's a vulnerable thing to do. So I always check with them to see where they're at with that mm. and then try to get them to start doing it every single day day mm -hmm. and you do it two minutes a day mm -hmm. and and this is all got um, John Gottman's research out of the University of Washington this is their exercise and something that I practice mm -hmm. and they say that this builds up your emotional bank account yeah which yeah. well we need you know it and if the person isn't responding and not you know then you can go for again. then you can go for some <laughs> then professional you know that's help. The end. then you can go for some professional help no. and I do do relationship counseling then that's online. when I call Dr. Uh, <laughs> Colleen, Colleen Mullen that's right that's so, right Dr. Colleen there's a lot of people out there are saying wow that would be perfect for me where can people find you so that way they can hire you for help that's right so my website is coachingthroughchaos.com all spelled out you can also find me on Facebook and uh, Twitter at Dr. Colleen Mullen, Dr. Colleen Mullen. And if you go to coachingthroughchaos.com and you sign up for the mailing list, you'll also get a free PDF Ooh. of an article I wrote called Eight Ways to Destroy Any Relationship. Well, why didn't we talk about that? Uh, wait, wait, I want to know. We know what those are. We don't them. We know what it is. What is it, guys? So hey, listen, hold on, hold don't forget. Yeah. Yes, Frank. Yes, Frank. Hurry up. We're wrapping up. Hurry it up. Jeff. What do you got? Because this is only... that's my sister. I love my sister. Shrink the shrink. I know. Let's talk about the shrink the shrink. Okay, and we're also going to talk about the shows, right? So, Shrink to Shrink. You have your own podcast. Shrink well, I have two shrink. shows, right? I have coachingthroughchaos.com, mm -hmm. which there's about 55 episodes of interviewing experts in the field of psychology, and I say life management, and people with stories of triumphing over hardship and I've got some great stories out there so that's uh, coaching through chaos mm -hmm. on iTunes stitcher and every place where you can Amazing. find um, yep. um, what they call podcasts yeah. yes and yeah, shrink to shrink. and shrink to shrink on film I so love it's that. shrink with the number two shrink on I love film. the name and you can find that again everywhere you can find podcasts iTunes. and what we do yep iTunes Apple Podcasts, as they call it now and so oh. what we do is um, we take one movie a month we've done this for a couple of years now we it's myself and another therapist we take one movie a month we break it apart by scenes and then we psychobabble about life and relationships I, love, I, love, I think that was brilliant that's according right. to that movie that. I'm gonna yeah. start watching alright so don't Thank forget you. go follow Dr. Colleen Mullins she's amazing call her after the show if you're don't forget to subscribe to us on Instagram at Date Night TV and on Facebook, Date Night with Connie Chrissy. And so watch us notified. on Altice One every Wednesday at 5.30 right. p.m. Right, you guys. See you next Friday.